Welcome to this Fast Facts presentation from Cell and Gene Therapy Insights and Thermo Fisher Scientific. I'm Charlotte Barker, an editor at BioInsights, and today I'm joined by Tom Melody with a presentation on an automated and scalable closed system platform for cell isolation and activation. Since joining Thermo Fisher Scientific almost three years ago, Tom has been a member of the Cell Therapy R&D team where he focuses on the end-to-end -end optimization of T-cell workflows, from isolation to editing and process development, including downstream expansion across several different bioreactor platforms. If you'd like to ask Tom a question about his presentation, simply use the Ask a Question box to the right of the viewing pane. And with that, I'll hand over to Tom to kick off today's presentation. Hello and welcome. My name is Thomas Melody, and I'm an R&D scientist for Thermo Fisher Scientific. Today, I'm excited to share with you some information on the next installment to our Gibco Cell Therapy System family of instruments, the Dynaselect Magnetic Separation System. This modular device allows you to take our Gibco CTS, CD3, CD28 DynaBeads to the next level by providing a closed, automated, scalable, and user-friendly platform for your cell therapy manufacturing needs. But before we get into the device capabilities and supporting data, I'd first like to start with a brief background on the field and some of the challenges that it currently faces. Taking a look at a breakdown of a complete cell therapy workflow, we can see several challenges in this complex process. Many steps are currently labor intensive and open, making these workflows prone to error. When looking at areas such as quality and logistics, critical time can be lost due to management of supply chains and long and expensive quality control standards that must be met. In addition, manufacturing speeds, coupled with a zero failure tolerance for these therapies, only emphasizes the need to decrease the time to market of these treatments. The Gibco Cell Therapy System suite of devices and reagents has been specifically designed to alleviate many of these pain points by reducing the need for user intervention and reducing the time between collection to administration. Now at this time, I would like to briefly highlight our current suite of cell therapy devices before we dive into the detailed overview of the Dynaselect system. So beginning on the left, you'll see the Xenon, our large-scale electroporation system. This device can deliver DNA, RNA, or protein in volumes ranging from 1 to 25 milliliters, providing flexibility over the non-viral transfection of anywhere from 25 million to 2.5 billion cells. Moving to the right, you'll see the Rotea, our multi-purpose one-stop shop for cellular processing. Whether it be CAR-Ts, stem cells, or PBMCs, this platform can wash, isolate, concentrate, and harvest your target cell in any workflow that you've determined size discrimination to be a viable strategy. And moving to the right once more, you'll see the Dynaselect unit. Now, while all of these devices can be used independent of one another, all three can also be seamlessly integrated into a complete end-to-end -end cell therapy workflow. Each unit comes equipped with customizable software, giving a user total control over protocol parameters. All three devices are also accompanied by CGMP reagents and consumables, as well as regulatory documentation and support to provide confidence for sterile compliant manufacturing. So now let's take a closer look at the Dynaselect magnetic separation system. The Dynaselect is our newest cell therapy system product in development specifically designed for the scalable isolation and activation of T-cells. Starting on the top left of the unit, you'll see the automated rocking magnet. And moving down, you'll find the embedded graphical user interface that is OPC UA compatible. The fluidics panel on the right, which contains the peristaltic pump and pressure sensors, is where the unit accepts one of two single-use kits. And bag hangers are situated above to keep the workstation organized. When used with our Gibco CTS DynaBeads, this automated high-throughput system allows for operator-independent results in either autologous or allogeneic workflows. This closed system, coupled with our CGMP consumables, quality control documentation, and dedicated device support, makes the Dynaselect ideal for both process development and clinical manufacturing. Taking a look at the two fit-for-purpose kits, starting on the left we have the cell isolation kit. This kit's primary bag is a one-liter bladder, capable of processing more than 10 billion target cells per run. This kit is fitted with an additional eight weldable PVC connections, providing a user some flexibility in setup. In the middle, you'll see the bead removal kit. 
The primary bag here has been specially designed with a serpentine configuration, which forms a magnetized channel that a culture is run through, simultaneously capturing beads while gently collecting the cellular output. Due to the continuous flow, there is no limit to the amount of volume that can be run. And to date, this system has been validated up to 10 liters of culture using eight full Dynabead vials with recovery of around 50 billion cells. Finally, on the right, you'll see that each kit comes with a tube organizer attached, helping with tracking during welding and installation of the kit. For reference, one isolation protocol takes approximately one hour, inclusive of a 30 minute bead to cell incubation step. Future bead offerings such as detachable beads may take longer, but those protocols are still being developed and refined. Around 20 years ago, we released our legacy Gibco CTS CD3 CD28 Dynabeads, offering a reliable, scalable vector for activation of relevant T cell subsets. Since then, we have released our Treg expander Dynabeads with future offerings on the way, such as previously mentioned detachable beads. Regardless of the choice that you make for your workflows, our Dynabeads offer trusted results in production of an early memory phenotype from a product supported by the CTS manufacturing processes and documentation you expect from our products. But when it comes to the results I've been speaking to, you don't just have to take my word for it. Let's review some of the supporting data now. Starting with unwashed frozen LUCA packs, the plot on the left shows the baseline distribution of leukocytes from four donors, with our target cells comprising roughly 52% of the input material. Utilizing our CD3, CD28 Dynabeads, an 86% recovery of our target cells was observed. And on the right, you can see the composition of the output material, with an enriched T cell population inclusive of CD4 positive, CD8 positive, and double positive cells. This was after a single step isolation and activation using CD2 positive, CD56 negative as a pan T cell marker following the down regulation of CD3 post activation. As stated on the previous slide, an 86% isolation efficiency was observed. And on the left, you can see the breakdown of recovery percentages across the donors. But I would like to focus on the right, where you'll see the viability pre and post isolation. The gentle nature of the DynaSelect incubation step provides optimal isolation, while also having little to no impact on cellular viability. These cells were then cultured for seven days, allowing the cells to slough off any present Dynabeads, at which time these cultures were then debeated. Looking first at activation and growth post-isolation, after the first 24 hours in culture, the majority of cells are expressing early activation markers such as CD69. In addition, this activation is further confirmed by expression of proliferation receptors, identified through marking by anti-CD25 fluorophores. By day seven, the sustained expression levels only continue to increase, demonstrating mature, proliferating target cells. On this same day, cultures were debeated and as you can see on the right, the recovery of these cells surpassed 88%. Aside from a gentle, efficient isolation of T cells, two of the other significant advantages of the DynaSelect system are its scalability and processing times. When running a one liter culture through the bead removal protocol at the standard speed of 50 milliliters per minute, total processing time will be around 29 minutes, which includes the material loading and final recovery steps. When processing larger volumes, it would be assumed that every liter above one would require the same amount of time. However, due to the continuous flow through the serpentine bag, there is no need for redundant beginning and ending steps. When compared to a single liter, a 10 liter culture can be processed at one liter every 21 minutes, resulting in up to a 30% time savings at larger volume, utilizing only a single kit with no need for mid-run user intervention. Having such clear expectations going into a run makes purchasing and allocating resources much easier, especially when operating at a manufacturing capacity. Now to make these data points a bit more relative, let's compare DynaSelect to a current product on the market, the Gibco CTS Dynamag, our manual debeating platform. When processing 1100 milliliters of input material and running DynaSelect at 50 milliliters per minute, the advantages of the DynaSelect system become much more tangible. Looking at time save compared to the manual method, DynaSelect can process the same amount of material in a fraction of the time, while the continuous flow removes any need to break down and reset the kit to process the remaining volume. As shown in the two middle plots, cellular viability and recovery yields are maintained or even improved when compared to the Dynamag. And finally, virtually no beads are observed in the final product, 
checking the box for regulatory requirements, and providing peace of mind that you have produced a robust, safe therapy for your patients. As you can see, we are investing in creating next generation technologies while also building commercial manufacturing infrastructure. But most importantly, we're partnering with leaders such as yourselves to support your efforts to advance cell and gene therapies. Together, we can continue to innovate and keep striving to make the world healthier, cleaner, and safer. In summation, I wanted to highlight once more the advantages of the DynaSelect system. Closed and automated operation with continuous processing, capable of scale up from process development studies to direct manufacture of CAR T therapies, with the most exciting aspect of them being that this system can be in your labs by Q4 of this year. And with that, I wanna thank you for your time, and I look forward to hearing about your priorities and challenges and how we here at Thermo Fisher can keep working to deliver you with those needed solutions. Thank you, Tom, for a great presentation, and thank you to the audience for watching today. If you'd like to download a poster version of today's talk summarizing the main points, you can find that below the video. We hope you'll join us again soon for more Fast Facts.